Hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a yellow-orange mani double price stamping requested by Angela. I'm using Hufflepuff by Glam Polish over that yellow gel mani that I did in my one of my latest videos. I just am going to do one beautiful, simple, yummy coat of Hufflepuff. Look how beautiful. I love this polish. It's just so bright and with that bling in it, oh, it just takes my breath away. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see. <laughs> and we're going to get this to dry down. Um, I learned about double processed stamping from Krong Lee on her channel. I will link her down below so that you can check it out. I'm going to be using this Lena Make Your Mark 03 plate and this You Are Beautiful number 17 plate. My Monocle Stamper and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. And I'll be using this Bundle Monster Orange and the Nicole Diary White. Now this is tricky. You see I've got these plates lined up. I'm going to go ahead and put a streak of white across the image I'm wanting to do. And then I do the orange all over the empty space. Lightly scrape, scrape both of them, pick up the orange, pick up the design, and stamp that rascal on the nail. You have to be quick with this. I'm talking like crazy quick. But I think with practice, it's doable. But this is my first time doing it, and I do think the more you do it, the better you would be at it. I have learned that on that open image over there, I have to put a lot of paint on it and be very careful scraping. And roll up oh, that didn't, that one didn't pick up. We're gonna do it again. So see, I'll leave in the mess ups. I want y'all to see what you may encounter <laughs> when you try to do this. Scrape, scrape, and pick up, pick up. And that one's just too much orange. So we're gonna try this again. Just because you get it on the stamper, don't mean you have to put it on that nail. Okay. It just do it until you're happy with it. Um, I really thought this was a neat process. And the reason why I like it is because that white helps that orange pop a little bit over the manicure. There we go. I think we finally got something we can work with. There's a little bit of a white spot in the corner, but I don't care. I am still going to roll with it. Like I said, I will leave a link for Crony Lee down below. Um, that woman has taught so many of us so many amazing techniques. She just breaks it all down and, it, and just shows you all the magic. I love it. I love her channel. So there we go. We're going to pick up and pick up again. There we go. Success. And there's more white showing on that one than I would like, but... Since this is new, I'm going to be happy with it. <laughs> I'm going to peel up my... Oh, I forgot to mention I had on liquid latex. Because it just blended in so well because it was clear. But I'm using a piece of tape to kind of grab the edges and yank that stuff up. Look how pretty. I do like it, though. Even though it didn't turn out perfect. I am going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and do some tidying up before I do my top coating. But I really think it's a neat process. I love it. I'll be topping with the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat or Maniology or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to top it with some Posh Top Coat. So that's how I do it. I double do it. And, you know. I wish I could have got that orange to pop just a little bit more, but I'm really pleased with it. The lighting's not doing it very good justice. In real life, it's, it's just so much easier to see it. And I love this manicure. So, Angela, thank you for the request. I really had fun doing this one. I would love to hear what you all think about this manicure. And if you've tried the double process stamping, I would love to hear about it. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.